Hey guys, welcome back to Oathbound Gaming. Today we're taking a deep dive, a deep look at the Outriders demo to see what this game's all about and see if it's a game that looks promising. I'm excited for it. I love co-op games, but the demo's going to be played single player. We're going to see what it's like and we're going to find out together. Is this game worth playing? What features does it have? What is it like? Does it run well on PC? And if you like this type of content, remember to throw us a sub. Really appreciate that. And it definitely keeps me motivated to keep throwing videos like this out. So let's get started. So I've got the character creation screen, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the options real quick. Because this is supposed to be a deep dive video. It's supposed to look at everything. Um, they have an automatic loot system. I see that kind of like an autom automatic loot things of a certain rarity and higher. That's cool. Uh, whether you want, you want your helmet on, whether or not you want cross play. Or from other platforms players can uh, you know friends can join you if they have it on another platform which is cool your typical aim down sights uh, crouching well aim down sights and sprint mode like the toggles and hold audios simple I love this it's got like MMO type of HUD adjustments where you can um, you know turn things on or off if you want I always like seeing that scale the HUD that's cool uh, display this is some of your uh, some of your video settings such as field of view fps limit resolution scaling whether or not you're in full screen or not and then of course over here we have our standard video settings i'm gonna leave all of this on ultra for now that's the highest it goes i don't see any depth of field which i normally turn off and i turn off motion blur so i'm hoping that's not like you know built into the game and then you're you have to play with it on no matter what i hope double press to to roll that's nice. Some people like that on. I'll keep it on for now. I'll see if I want to turn it off because it looks like you can hit control, left control to roll. Or you can probably like double tap like S to roll backwards or A to roll left, something like that. Uh, everything else looks pretty normal. Large fonts if you'd like that. That's kind of cool. Sometimes I actually like that. Uh, I'll leave it off for now. I'll keep that basic. High contrast mode. Well, actually it looks nice. Contemplate keeping that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep everything normal and then you can adjust it. But there is a lot of settings in there. I'm I'm actually quite impressed. So uh, we're gonna move on to character customization. Uh, I took a look at this earlier. It's not too in depth, but it's there. It's it's good enough that I can make a character that I'm I'm happy with. You know, uh, we'll go with this guy. Take a look at his hair. We'll make him bald like me. Always do. Gotta sport the baldness. Facial hair. Uh, Pretty short, stubby. Keep that. We gotta change his bald hair color to, to black because we just gotta have bald black hair. Uh, markings. We'll go with. Uh, we got some little scars and stuff. We'll do do one over here. There you go, right there. Uh, piercings. No, not a fan of piercings. All right, we're gonna go. We'll use my standard MMO name. We'll go with Neckerage. And so the demo has the prologue here. I see that. And I haven't I haven't actually gotten the game and played at all yet. Uh, I just messed around with some of the settings. So just have a play with friends, but you can't invite any any friends until you finish the prologue. So over here, you see the point you were at in the story. I obviously can't change anything yet because it's a brand new character. It hasn't done anything, but you can go through the story and come back to each point and kind of redo it. So I thought that was that was nice. And then here we have what they're calling world tiers. I love this. I looked into this before. And as you can see from the text below, there's um there's adjustments to the games. Uh, item level, the loot rarity drops, how tough the enemies are going to be, and that's awesome. I think I think it's really cool that you can you can play a game on harder difficulty to unlock more stuff. It's kind of like, you know, some games have like the ascension level, you know, like you keep going higher and higher and higher and higher to get ever increasing difficulty and increase to to loot quality to get the best stuff. So as you can see, it goes all the way up to 15 where you have loot rarity modifier 500%, legendary drop rate modifier 300%, and the dropped item level is plus 12. So, but the enemy level is also plus 12. And if you compare that to the first one, world tier is one is the first and it's enemy level minus two drop level minus two so it's it's a massive difference but i imagine the difficulty is going to be quite extreme which is cool i always like uh, challenging games but we're going to go ahead and start we're going to get this uh outriders demo started and we're going to see just what this game is like 
And we just see if we like this thing. Because it comes out on April 1st. And I will definitely be picking up if I enjoy this. And I'll be playing some of this for sure. Making some more videos. Earth was dead. We had destroyed it. Two colony ships were built to carry us across the stars. Only one ship made it. We're all that's left. An 83 year journey. That's a long drive. We orbit our new home. The planet Enoch. Humanity's last damn chance. I like that. What mysteries do you hold, Enoch? 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 Unuk. Cinematic looks really nice. Code one, Flores Command. You are clear to begin descent to surface. Copy. Disengaging. Initiating auxiliary thrusters. Command, we are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on break. Primary ignition set to 30 percent. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Mode one. We are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, Pod One. Go for landing. Engines off. Pod one has landed. Pretty cool. Cinematics don't look bad. Oh, that looks really nice. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss. You're ready. Got my truck. And when snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. This guy is the, uh, the jerk of the story, no right? Home, and no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job. Yeah. Whatever that is. All right, let's get the killing. Normally I skip the cinematics, but I wanted to, you know, get a good feel for the game and the story. And again, this is supposed to be a deep dive video where we look at everything. So. This is Alpha Actual. I'm up the ferrets are messing with the radar. Can't get a lock on the probes. Negative HQ. Our systems are all functioning. We'll set up camp further up. Oh, cool. The deer look cool. The elk. I'm gonna scout ahead on foot. Need to stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see it get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't know me anything. I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move up. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. Ah. <sighs> Would you smell that air? The game looks nice, right? Process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on her. I like it. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, 
None of us should have even so I'm hitting tab. Survivor's At the top left says follow Captain Tanner. One of us isn't feeling it. It's not just okay, so that's like if the Caraval's engine had exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. Control to climb, that's a little strange. I expected space, but oh, okay. Now this is the prologue, so probably take us a little bit to get into combat. We'll make camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area. I thought I was gonna there. fight that thing. jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Okay. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. My weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? She's really gone. She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ECA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. Earth is gone. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, it was never going to live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming. You're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. That's one thing I noticed. You These... can have family here. This Build dialogue family. cinematic type of stuff. Roll it's limited to 30 frames, you. but it's like the in-game engine, so it doesn't no look around, too smooth. Gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. Should have done at least 60. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Uh, Alright, gonna head out. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. Alright, let me fight. Let me do something here. Jade access the journal at any time. Characters. Oh, this is the uh, the big jerk who thinks he's a uh, big shot. I really didn't think prayer worked. I owe you one. All right, let me shoot stuff quick. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Let's. All right, take cover behind the crate oh, space. Oh, it's got the. Uh, stuff. Yeah, a new toy. Like the lo it locks onto the. Uh... Ooh, so you lock on the cover. You right-click to raise yourself out of cover. Think you could take on a tank? No, I do not think I could take on a tank. Let's 
So headshots matter. You can see it like crits. Hold Q to switch to your side. Okay, a little bit weird to hold Q, but. Alright, you can stop showing off. The shooting feels good. I could aim, which is good. Can you fire? Yeah. You could fire from behind cover. Like this. But, you, you know, obviously you get better accuracy by right clicking. Not anything brand new to, to gaming, but I like it when it's done well. Why change a system that works well, right? That's pretty cool. Basically, to restock right, your ammo. You okay. So you hit space to get into there, and then space to leave. But if you hit S, it'll pull away from that. You see that? He kind of does like a back step away from his uh, defense. And then if you hit space, he just releases it like that. That's really cool. Because I immediately hit S to kind of pull away from it as like, I don't know, like instinct in a way, you know? I like that. That's That feels good. I like the combat, the shooting, the cover system. Like I said, it's not brand new to the gaming world in any way, but uh, it works. It's worked in past games. Oh Why change it? I think it works here. This is stunning. Pretty fun. I wish you could have seen this there. Hope the progression system's good. That's what I'd like to see. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. Only we had an internet to post those two. Get the interest. You the love interest, right? Scientific record. That's the one. Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your legs, Shira. There's not gonna be no internet for six months? How am I gonna upload my videos? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do, it's just... How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something. Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems the initial readings were right. The breeding. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probes data to know we can support them. And if we can't, what's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answer, Stuart? Uh, are you seeing anyone? Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 that's a probe. Tanner, I think we've got a signal, it's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing, so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? This is my social media smile face. Alright, let me go kill stuff. Come on. Let me, let me go over this. Oh, they're pulling the log away. Thank you, buddy. All right. The world is beautiful, I gotta say. Love it. Show me, like, a lake or something. Something. Oh, there's some water. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here, too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarian? Are the boys? We call them Whatever. They look pretty ugly, you ask me. No, they're they're astonishing. I bet they can be domesticated, performing. Uh, I bet they make some fat juicy steaks. Water looks decent. Nothing nothing crazy, not bad though in any way. Looks fine. Those uh Beasts, those animals look like something uh, out of uh cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe he looks like something out of Metro. DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. Ah, uh, so if you target a like your your cover ahead and hold space, he'll automatically run to it. So check this out. 
So you initiate it and then you don't have to uh but I've secured the objective. Run. Got some kind of storm brewing. Cap, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal. But something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right, Outriders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that straight. I want to find trouble. I want to kill something. Something's going to stop me from making it back. Let's see. Something's going to get in my way. I'm going to have to shoot it. Come on. Come on. Something jump us right now. Hey, Guthbert. Any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but... I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. No combat yet. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishja. Electronics are freezing up. Trucks are down. We continue on foot. Let me fight something. Soldier, your primary focus. Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. Jesus. Shit. Get back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Stay back. God damn it. They're killing off the Gears of War guy already? Tanner, got eyes on the probe. Fight something. I got movement. Heading in. <laughs> oh, your Sardom has unlimited ammo. We've encountered a potential biological nice. hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Damn it, Tanner! I told you, Bozo, not to go and mess up this operation. It's my name on the line when it's landing. Hey, boss, we lost you. I'm getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea with this black gunkies? I noticed the emotion blur while running. You see how the game blurs out? That is not easy on the eyes. I got to be honest. So while I'm sprinting. Look what happens if I move my camera to the, like, horizontally, like, left or right. Look at the distance. In the distance, the... Oh, that does not look good. Wish you can disable that. Here we go. 
Let's go. Roll. Okay, I double tapped A to do that roll, yep. Ooh. Yeah, sidearm definitely is not. A... Oh, that's cool. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Sidearm is not nearly as strong as your primary. Rightfully so. A lot of cinematics in the prologue. I hope it's just the prologue, you know. I assume it is. In the real game, you can just, you know, run and gun for for a half hour without having to stop. I hope. Tanner, I found it. Good work. Get the drive to get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner. The signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Oh, damn it! Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh... Carrier frequency is nine seven point. Tanner, do you copy? Oh, shit. Tanner, Tanner, I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. What the fuck? Awesome. Oh. That looks awesome. That was cool. She just got deleted. How do I help you? Yeah, the Russian guy lived. I like him. Oh, that guy's messed up. I got heavy casualties. Possible contamination. I need four to set up a base. Do you copy? Uh, uh, shit. What the hell's happening with him? Oh, he dead. That guy got messed up. Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? 
Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> Contaminated. We contain them. That's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you. We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to. No! Cowboy bro. Contain this. I knew he was gonna be. Burn the fucking bodies. I don't like him. I gotta fight my own dudes. All right, let's go, bro. Jacob, cover me. I'm going after Maxwell. I got you. Outriders, stand down. That's an order. Sure. Right after you call off your goddamn goons. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need Tanner's to... backup rifle. Okay. Inventory. Bullshit. Okay, I'd like to take a moment here to really... Whoop. To look into this. Uh, so, inventory. So, it looks like we're gonna get a helmet eventually. Chest, legs, gloves, boots. I love a game that's loot-heavy. I like that stuff. Uh, I love RPGs. So, I like seeing this. So... There's one thing I don't... Okay, okay. It's not so bad. I was gonna say, I don't like the fact that there's no, like, item comparison, but there kinda is. You see the firepower's got the green arrow, it means it's going up. Uh, the accuracy is going up, and the stability's going up, but my range is going down from the weapon it's comparing to. But... Ah! I noticed at the bottom left, uh, my webcam's kinda blocking it, but it says compare on, compare off. If you hit C, you actually get the full comparison window like that. This is what I was looking for. This, this is good. I like this. That looks great. My one question is... I was gonna say, my one question is, can I compare it to my other weapons instead of just my main one? The answer? Yes, you absolutely can, because they just gave me a shotgun. But, uh, I notice... Bone shrapnel. Killing shots detonate the enemy's bones and turn them into shrapnel, dealing 60 damage and inflicts bleed on enemies within a 5 meter radius. Cooldown of 1 second. Let's equip this bad boy. Let's see what that's all about. That sounds cool. Good. Enemies to test it on. Oh! Okay. He blew up into blood. Little blood bone shrapnel attack. Boom! I like that. Ooh, the jerk on the shotgun. It's a little much. Maxwell the camera way. really moves. He's gonna burn everything down. Why? So he can tell the story his way. Ow! Ooh! Did they just... Then. Yep, they just hit me with something, like a mortar or something. Man, a, a loot heavy shooter with with co-op. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm I'm in. I'd pick this game up. Oh, that guy exploded and took out the other dude with him. Oh, press F to melee. Okay, cool. Let's get some guy. Let's get him a melee. Kill the traitors. Ah, eh, melee's kind of weak. Screw you, Maxi. Oh, I'm getting shot up. Oh. Oh, he done. 
He's on top of the box. Do the right thing. Call it in. Postpone the fucking landing. It's too late. Hey, you. And you. Help me with the wounded. We have to get them to Metla. Over here! My guy got messed up. back into cryo until medlab can save your fucking life don't be ridiculous i'm done for pep talks aren't really my thing that's kind of cool so you see the prologue you get frozen and i guess you know when you enter the next chapter or whatever they're calling it it's going to be a little bit more when you know something true forward in time over. You get to see the Was results of all that, I guess. Left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. Just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay. In the trenches, yo. Go, go, go! How long? How long has it been? 
fucking long! Who knows? Since before I was born! That's fucking impossible! Come on, open the goddamn gate! And move! Hold tight, almost there! Almost where? Where are you taking us? I'm not supposed the to- The hell be. is the matter with you? You just wake up or something? Cryo, I just- Well, let me catch you up real quick. That paradise you outriders promised us, guess what we got instead? Goddamn alien storms! No shelter, no food, just kicked to the curb like exiles while your ECA pals got fat in their bunker! Bullshit! It wasn't like that! We lost electronics! We could have left you all the rot in your cryopods! But we did! We saved you ungrateful! <laughs> How many times did I tell you to shut up? <laughs> hey, don't! Hey, hold your breath! Welcome to the Valley of Death, asshole! This world is messed up! Woke up in some sort of hell. Damn. This place is brutal. My type of world. All right, let's get started. Come on, let me go. Let me go. Let me go fight stuff. Choose your path. Here we go. Here we go. Technomancer, long range support gadgets. Pyromancer, medium range conjurer fire. Close range hit and run space time. <coughs> space time. Devastator, close range tank stand your ground. I think most people would want me to play something else, but I really want to try the Devastator because it seems like the most different. This looks sniper to me. Long range just says sniper, you know. This says assault rifles type of stuff. This says more of like shotgun and melee. This is like interesting. Are you going to actually have a shield and a, and a blade or something? I would like to check that. Ooh, I get more information. Okay. Take point, defend your allies. Ground and foes alike will tremble as you pass. As a devastator, you will recover health from slain enemies that stood too close. Trickster. Bend the laws of space and time to appear out of nowhere. Assassinate your enemies and return to safety in the blink of an eye. Ooh, rogue type of playstyle. As a trickster, each enemy killed in close range heals you and grants you a portion of shield. Pyromancer. Cover foes in flames, incinerate entire squads, and heal your own wounds as enemies fall to your inferno. As a pyromancer, you will recover health whenever enemies marked by your skills are killed. Technomancer. Manipulate the anomaly to animate constructs. Ooh, they get like turrets and stuff. Cool. And bend them to your will, aiding allies and killing enemies from afar. As a technomancer, you recover a portion of health. A portion of the damage you deal as health. Interesting, but I'm still gonna find out what this uh, tanky boy is all about. It just looks, it just looks like my style. You know, MMOs and stuff. I'm always the tank. I'm gonna have to stick with my, my preferred role. Check it out, see what it's like. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. I need to get out of here. Welcome to the Outriders demo. This demo you'll be able to experience the first of many regions from the Outriders epic journey through Enoch. You'll be able to reach character level 7 and world tier 5. You'll also be able to hold a maximum of 25,000 bleh, 1,000 other bleh, 1,000 other bleh, and 10 bleh. So don't hoard. Spend. Explore Rift Town. The demo has no time limit, so check out vendors, finish all four side quests, and discover all of the journal entries. Test all four classes. After completing the prologue, you'll be able to skip it with new characters. Feel free to jump back in and quickly experience all four Outrider classes. Interesting. Very interesting. So we got emotes. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I like to use that to review games. That'll be like, like an image on, on the screen. It's all right. But I'm going to go into the key bindings because I found that V does emotes, which is what I use to talk. I'll set that to a random key for now, so I don't have to deal with that. So this should allow me to now play with friends. And you know what, guys? I'm going to end this here so you see the prologue, and we're going to upload the next video so we can play through the entire rest of the game, and we can learn a little more about that. So this is part one. This is the prologue, the end of it. And we're going to go into the next video. So if you guys like this content, check out the next video on Outriders. Because we're going to deep dive into this. We're going to take a look at all four classes. We're going to do some co-op. We're going to have a good time. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like this content, please throw us a sub. I always appreciate that. That really, really helps me out. And it keeps me motivated. It keeps me throwing out content like this. So thank you very much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Skidda!